Hello everyone, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. I'm going to show you how I make background images for BuildBox. Uh, in the beginning, I used to have a lot of trouble getting them to line up correctly, so I'm going to show you what I learned. Uh, click New. I use a width of 2040, height of 2010. This is not exactly what I think most people are expecting. They expect 2048, but uh, actually 2040 is the recommended size for these files and, and uh, resolution is 72. You don't want to go too high here. The image size gets too large and tends to slow down a lot of different things. So we're going to click over here on new layer. I've lately been doing hills uh, just because I like the way they look and they seem to scroll really well. You can do anything you want here. I've been using the pen tool. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I click, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and of course, click and drag. Now you'll notice, if we were to tile this, or loop this animation uh, from side to side, we would have some problems because this side is obviously lower than this side. So I'm gonna teach you uh, what I do to fix that problem. All right, so we just created a path with the pen tool. So we're gonna click over here on paths, and then this right here is our selector, turn path into selection. So with this selected, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my gradient which I have set up to this nice dark blue to light blue I'm gonna go down at the very bottom go up here to the top and release I think this gives a, a nice look to the hills so we're gonna go back here to layer and we actually can unselect this alright so I clicked here on the selection box and uh, just click any one on the screen that does that for me so now to get this side and this side to match up what I do is um, I use the selection tool which is very easy you don't have to be even in the middle here this is not important whatsoever click choose layer via cut and now these things are separated this line that appears here uh, actually is not there when you get closer this I think just helps you differentiate between uh, the files so we're going to click and drag these to the opposite side so we can work on the part that we need leveled up. These snap to the corners, which I think is great. Now I'm going to do basically the same thing I did already. I'm going to merge down uh, so that we're working on a single file. This makes it a little bit easier. Now you can use the Polygon Lasso tool or the Freeform Lasso tool if you wanted to make this simple. Like you could just go like this and click and choose layer via cut and turn that off and then you're basically right there however I don't like the way that that looks it tends to look a little sloppy to me so I'm gonna go ahead and use the pen tool I'm gonna click and deselect that alright so pen I'm gonna click really close right here then I'm going to click down here drag a little bit up right where it's um, meeting again drag now that looks like that's that's pretty close to where I want so I'm going to just click around here make that a whole box we're going to go back here to paths turn to selection click in the layer make sure that's selected over here control X or command X on a Mac and now that's a much smoother looking uh, image now this bump right over here doesn't really bother me too much but if it bothered you you could go in the same way with the pen tool and erase it uh, now at, at this point uh, really we can be done uh, I'll give you a couple advanced tricks in the next video. So we're going to uh, click the background. So we have a transparent background here for it. File, save as, I'm going to choose down here PNG. So I choose not interlaced, which I think is the default. Uh, and that does it. All you got to do is then uh, drag that file. Uh, here, I'll show you over here in BuildBox. And uh, normally I open up a window over here in Explorer and I have this set up. I have assets for games, backgrounds. I save that one as blue background. I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to drag it on there. Wait for it to load. And there you have it. Now the nice thing, because this is a longer background, is it will scroll obviously a little longer. You can see our line up right there it does the same thing you can see that really almost invisible line as you pull in closer it disappears and we have a seamless beautiful mountain background alright guys thank you 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.